Hi friends, in this video we are going to discussing about NISM series 8 equity derivatives mock test for chapter 6. First question, if price rises with increasing OI, what does it indicate? Option A, long build up. Option B, short covering. Option C, weak trend. And option D, neutral zone. The correct answer is option A, long build up. Next question. What is the tick size for derivatives contracts on NSC? Option A, 0.01. Option B, 0.05. Option C, 0.10. And option D, 1. Correct answer is option B, 0.05. Next question. Which of the following is a condition for a stock to be included in the FNO segment? Option A, it should be part of Sensex or Nifty. Option B, average daily delivery of 10% or more. Option C, market wide position limit of at least 500 crore. And option D, PE ratio above 25. Correct answer is option C, market wide position limit of at least 500 crore. Which of these orders? executes only at the specified price or better. Option A, market order. Option B, stop loss order. Option C, limit order. And option D, trigger order. Correct answer is option C, limit order. Next question. A trader places a buy limit order at 480. Current market price is 500. What will happen? Option A, order will execute immediately at 500. Option B, Order will wait in the order book. Option C. Order will be rejected. And option D. Order will becomes a market order. Correct answer is. Option B. Order will wait in the order book. Buy limit orders are executed only at the limit price or lower. Next question. Which type of order is most useful to minimize losses during market fall? Option A, market order. Option B, limit order. Option C, stop loss order. And option D, IOC order. Correct answer is option C, stop loss order. Next question. IOC order stands for. Option A, in order cancellation. Option B, inter exchange order confirmation. Option C, immediate or cancel. And option D, investment order confirmation. The correct answer is. Option C, immediate or cancel. IOC orders execute immediately or get cancelled if not matched. Next question. What happens to an order marked has day if not executed? Option A, rolls over to next day. Option B, converted to limit order. Option C, cancelled at end of trading day. And option D, executed at closing price. Correct answer is option C. Cancel at end of trading day. Next question. Which platform allows clients to square off positions in case of broker outage? Option A. COLO. Option B. IRRA. Option C. BOLT. And option D. CTCL. The correct answer is option B. IRRA. Investor Risk Reduction Access helps Clients exit position if their broker's terminal is down. Next question. A stock has MWPL of 600 crore. What happens if OA exceeds 95% of MWPL? Option A. Nothing changes. Option B. Stock is banned in FNO segment. Option C. Margin increases. And option D. SEBI approval needed. Correct answer is option B. Stock is banned in the FNO segment. What is the main purpose of the market wide position limit? Option A. To limit number of brokers per stock. Option B. To avoid excessive speculation. Option C. To cap intraday volatility. Option D. To regulate delivery volume. Correct answer is Option B, to avoid excessive speculation. 
Next question. Is the settlement cycle for equity derivatives in India? Option A, T plus 1. Option B, T plus 2. Option C, T plus 0. And option D, daily mark to market settlement. Correct answer is option D, daily mark to market settlement. Next question. Job this best describes a spread order. Option A, a market order with two legs. Option B, a limit order with a trigger. Option C, a simultaneous buy and sell of. The correct answer is option C, a simultaneous buy and sell of related contracts. Next question. Derivative trading. Who maintains the trade and order log? Option A, clearing corporation. Option B, depository. Option C, stockbroker. And option D, exchange. The correct answer is option D, exchange. Next question. A trader places a GTC order. What happens if it remains unexecuted by end of the day? Option A, executed at closing price. Option B, cancelled automatically. Option C, remains active next day. And option D, requests press margin. Option C, remains active next day. Next question. Which of the following indicator helps access trader sentiment in derivatives? Option A, OI. Option B, PE ratio. Option C, EMA. And option D, volume profile. The correct answer is option A, OI, open interest, reflects the number of open contracts and indicates trader interest. Next question. A trader shorts futures, OI decreases, price increases. What's happening? Option A, long buildup. Option B, short covering. Option C, short buildup. And option D, delivery. The correct answer is Option B, short covering. Next question. What happens when a trader squares off a position? Option A, open interest increases. Option B, open interest decreases. Option C, margin increases. Option D, strike price adjusts. The correct answer is Option B, open interest decreases. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe for more chapters.